Welcome back to Let's Clean Power Wash Simulator. I'm Burning Dog Face, and the last time we were here, we were taking a look at a skate park. However, as this blatant pop-up ad has reminded us, the Warhammer 40,000 uh, content pack is out. In the grim darkness of the far future, the Imperium of Man demands duty through scouring. <laughs> and, uh... I'm delighted to inform you guys that that's what we're here to look at today. <laughs> uh, I haven't checked out the other DLCs yet, the the SpongeBob thing or the uh, or the uh, the Back to the Future thing. Uh, and I've been weighing over in my head uh, when I should pounce on this one. And then a friend of mine made the decision for me because. Uh, my friend Segi suddenly gifted me the DLC, so how could I not be here today? I must say, thank you a ton, Segi. This is going to be fun. Let's see. Warhammer 40,000. Perform cleaning rites as a tech priest to the Adeptus Mechanicus. Filth is temporary. Honor is forever. <laughs> oh, okay. I was wondering about that. They put all the, uh, the legal stuff here on this screen. Uh, let's see. Yes. Yes, this sounds about right. First level, Land Raider! Yes, this is going to be an alternate universe for sure. This is going to be, I guess, Dr. Powerwash's counterpart in the 40k universe. Forge Temple, Ring of Iron, Mars. That sounds about right. From Magos Pertinax Pius, from the Forge Temple. Blessing of the Machine Rite Initiated. Induction. Tech Priest, I am your superior, Magos Pertinax P Pius. It is to be your sacred duty to cleanse the Imperium's illustrious machines, to appease their machine spirit, and remove any lingering befoulments. To this end, you are to be stationed at Forge Temple 48759, under the supervision of Engine Seer Tyros 656, and allocated a mark to Aquasantica Archibus. Oh, I love that name. Order. Your first assignment, a mighty Ultramarines land raider of the Adeptus Astartes, awaits your attention. While whilst I remain skeptical that a relative novice such as yourself should perform rites on such a venerable vehicle, I am reminded of the words of Archmagos Fulcal Fulcanelius. The iron, once forged, becomes the sword. Let us hope that this applies to you. Oh, I love this fucking... <laughs> Steampunk-ass power washer they're giving me. <laughs> and three liters of multi-purpose cleaner, of course. <laughs> uh, I'm making 200 bucks off of this. Assault hatch, engine grill, adepti engine adeptus mechanicus sigil. Oh boy, here we go. Oh yeah, that's a big filthy tank, all right. Covered in redacted residue. I have a feeling Nurgle was involved in this. Okay. Where the hell am I? I'm in a really big... Uh, it looks like a combination of a hangar and a cathedral, which is entirely appropriate. Because we're dealing with the... Uh, the Adeptus Mechanicus here, the ones who literally worship technology. Let's see about getting a, uh... Back out of that. Yes! Clothing. Ah! Good! Tech Priest Engine Seer Adept. Warhammer 40,000 Special Outfit. I cannot change it. They would not let me use any other outfits here. That is fair. Now, I know there is, uh, at least one visually impaired user here. But, uh, fortunately, I also know that, uh, Justin Jones is a huge Warhammer fan. So all I need to say to visually describe myself is that I have become, <laughs> as it says, I'm a tech priest. Red cowl, gas mask, everything but the mechadendrites seems to have been replaced with a large water tank on my back. Mechadendrites being those uh, Dr. Octopus arms they're so fond of. I love that redacted residue. Uh, it's all purple and green. Let's see here. Before we get started, this is the Warhammer universe, so we should probably say a prayer. So I looked one up. <laughs> the Chants of the Journeyman, verse 3, slash W. 
From the weakness of the mind, Omnisaya save us. From the lies of the antipath, circuit preserve us. From the rage of the beast, iron protect us. From the temptations of the flesh, silica cleanse us. From the ravages of the destroyer, anima shield us. From this rotting cage of biomatter, machine god set us free. Oh boy. Might as well get started on... Just go. Oh, an email. Intel. Subdivision of the vehicle schematic has been sent to your optic systems. Oh, other outer track. Yes, a subdivision of the schematic. It's, it's the usual labeling system where it's not all one big chunk. Work systematically through localized containments. This is a really powerful washer. Which I guess makes all the sense in the world. This is one of the grimiest fictional settings there is. I didn't think you could get this place clean. Ooh. Proposition. Analysis of detritus may provide vital data on adversarial capabilities. How do I do that? All dirt compositions will be screened and logged. Oh, okay. Oh, right, my eyes are part of the system. Sure, sure. I'm all cyborged up. Let's clean off this Ultramarines logo here. The Smurfs will be happy about that one. I can't even think of where to begin explaining the Warhammer 40k setting to people who aren't familiar with it, because it's been going since the 80s and they've never rebooted it. So there's literally hundreds of hours of lore out there. That's a big gun. What is that? Oh, of course it's a LAS cannon. Duh. Ah, oh, damn. I'm not even using cleaner. He's probably talking to it, too, in-universe, since they... Well, the... Adeptus Mechanicus believe that every machine is alive and sacred. They're prone to saying things like, uh... Oh, that's right, they, yeah. Yeah, I was gonna mention that. Uh, normally, doing a 40k-themed video, I, f I would feel legally obligated, or almost legally obligated, to, uh, to name the, f the video For the Emperor. But again, this is a member of the machine cult, so I'm calling it For the Omnisaya! <laughs> But yes, they're very prone to saying things like, you know, praise the Omnisaya and bless us machine spirits that we might serve in his name. I really like that, that the... Uh... The, the, the Imperium needed Mars so badly that for the one time in their history, they made a compromise. Okay, fine, you guys can keep worshipping the Machine God. But we'll publicly acknowledge that the Omnisaya and the God Emperor are the same person. So that the, uh, the people don't get mad about that. I really like is that I assumed I was at the short end of the 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 the, uh, the, the, the rank ladder, given that uh, I'm the one doing the scouring job. But of course, it's uh, consider this extreme honor. Oh, this is oh this is my scaffolding. I can move this enormous chunk of uh, staircase. Oh boy, that's real big. How do you rotate that again? Let's get on top of this thing. It's all made of metal, there's some vents on it. Even the vertical pieces have like little flourishes on them. Yes, everything is extremely overwrought in 40k. You should see the starships. They're the size of continents and, ha uh, and look more like churches than attack vessels. Not that they are in any way lacking as attack vessels, Jesus Christ. Although, don't let them hear you say that, because that religion is also banned. 
Actually, I don't think they even remember that, now that I think about it. They lost all of their history at this point, in, uh, at our point in their history, I should say. They have no idea what happened at any point before about the year 20,000. If I remember correctly, anyway. What is this? It's a huge pile of red barrels. The double-headed Imperial Aquila on them. Sure, sure. Are these explosive? Should I be standing here? You've got a bunch of candles around them like it's a shrine. Okay, clean that off, you see? You see? This is a very grimy universe. Even I have no power here. <laughs> Why is this level so fucking big? And more importantly, if this is multiplayer, could the other guy see my cape billowing behind me? I guess it's more of a cloak, but whatever. Subterranean Cerebral... It's too blurry to read these letters. Heading 1. Oh, we're... This is a ship. Or is it a ship? There's giant fucking windows up here. Let's take a look. Oh, look at that! We are on a ship! In orbit around Mars. Yeah, that looks like what I would expect Mars to look like under these guys' control, now that I think about it. Yeah, 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 that's a lot of metal. Love the skull there, by the way. I hit L to zoom in, because I've been playing too many other games. Oh, I can't even clean off the grime on this fucking window. Unless it's in the outside, I didn't even consider that. I could probably just go through the window and clean it, since I don't think uh, tech priests above a certain level need to breathe anymore. You know, on account of them replacing their lungs with something else. Alright, so keep an eye out for skull imagery, like this crane here. Imperials are fucking obsessed with skull imagery. It was explained to me once as the suggestion that, uh, the human body... Wait. If this is my scaffolding, and this is clearly my ladder, then maybe this little robot guy over here is just my step stool. Ha! That's really funny. It definitely looks like a robot. It's got a skull on one end and four spider legs sticking out the sides. What? Why can't I... Oh, I was standing on it. That's why I couldn't, uh, do that. But yeah, let's do cleaning. This is the job here, after all. Gotta keep the war machine moving! Not just this literal one. I still don't feel entirely comfortable standing in front of a land raider like this, but then I suppose I don't worship it. Oh, gotta get the sides of all these little details here. Oh, oh, oh. Seriously, how did you get this much crap all over you? Did you drive through a great unclean one? Uh, briefly in the spotlight a couple years ago when they put out that Mechanicus game. Which is, as I understand it, basically XCOM, but with tech priests. I haven't dinged anything yet, I suddenly realize. How depressing. Oh, tank armor, or track armor sigil. I can probably get that real quick. Aha! I got a ding on, a, on a, an Imperial War Machine. <laughs> I can remember that that logo is called the Cog Mechanicum and that it represents the omni Saya, the physical avatar of the Machine God. But I can't remember if it's called something else when it's used as the logo of the, uh... 
of the Mechanicum itself. I feel like I can jump a lot higher than usual. I love that even this statue of a priest he clearly has a tech eye. Ooh! This shrine got some, uh, oh, what are they called? Purity seals. Nice. Rewards from on high. Was that me? Every time I jump, I hear this little jeet, like robot noise, and I love that. Like my knees are pushing off against the ground. <laughs> I did notice my footsteps sound at least three times heavier than usual. And that could just be a matter of, you know, my feet probably being made of metal. I should probably focus more on the other side where I'd already been doing work. Tyros again. Complete your work, Tech Priest. Guidance, it says. By the way, Dr. Uh, Powerwash probably receives his me uh, messages through his email. No residue from the redacted profane of redacted identity unconfirmed can be allowed to linger on the Ultramarine's land raider. Yeah, I'm probably just getting those messages in my head, for the record. They really, and I mean really, REALLY want to become tech. Like, the thing that got so popular about that Mechanicus game was the trailer and the totally unhinged uh, monologue from one of the good guys in it. Actually, let me try something real quick. Okay. If you're wondering why I'm emphasizing their obsession with tech so much, I'll let one of them explain it to you in his own words. From the moment I understood the weakness of my flesh, it disgusted me. I craved the strength and certainty of steel. I aspired to the purity of the blessed machine. Your kind cling to your flesh, as if it will not decay and fail you. One day, the crude biomass that you call the temple will wither, and you will beg my kind to save you. But I am already saved. And, it, you know, the clip cuts off right there, but I feel like that kind of, uh, sums it up. I should note that at the end of the trailer, it actually shows you who is saying that. It's a human skull wired into a wall of servers. I am already saved. And he finds that a perfectly acceptable existence, because it's never going to end. So basically, if you didn't know anything about Warhammer 40k, you've been thrown into the deep end. We're mechanical religious fanatics. I should also note, this is probably the closest I have ever seen this setting come to goofy, outside of something to do with the orcs. underneath and everything. I think 
the best way to explain the uh, the other comment I just had there is uh so, so high. There we go. Well, this is the setting that invented the term grimdark. If you're familiar with that, it's because the very first line in the manual for the first edition of Warhammer Forty Thousand, like the tabletop game, is in the grim dark future of the 41st millennium, there is only war. How the hell do I get those things in there? Surely it would make more sense to disassemble this whole Laz Cannon assembly first. This is an energy weapon. It could overheat if I leave too much gunk on there. This is important shit. I'm trying to remember. Extensions. Oh, good. Archibus short extension, Archibus long extension, Archibus extra long extension, and there's one of my hands. Well, it's in big, heavy gloves, so I can't actually tell if I have robot hands or not. Ah, oh, these little details. You know what I need there? Is my little robot buddy. Now we're talking. What's this shelf help uh, over here? But what about Like honestly, you'd think I'd have like Dr. Octopus arms to pull this thing open while my human arms continue to spray in there. This was that level of multitasking would admittedly be difficult for a video game. Targeting surveyor, that's nice. Oh wow, what is this gunk? Oh, I've already run out of the uh, the labels. Alas. Oh no, 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 I had it for a second there. No, so it's just residue and mud. I don't see any reason why I shouldn't be able to clean this. Oh dear. Why am I not getting that part? Way too long. Oh, we're all too long for that. Oh! Duh! I have another nozzles. They're all blocky and silly looking. Alright, that's an issue. Just to me that the glow is actually coming through from another angle, and I'm just getting, like, clipping errors there. Oh, that could do it. Oh, yeah, uh, this one. Ha! Yeah, that worked. Called it! help over here, though. Well, the omni Saya needs me to do this, so I'm going to keep doing this until it doesn't need doing. That made, uh, that was less obvious in my head. Um. <laughs> I'm Burning Dog Face. And I will see you on the next episode of Let's Clean Power Wash Simulator. Unless you're a heretic, a xeno, or a mutant, of course. Can't have any of those. <laughs>
Later.